Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah, we are going to start with a very essential topic for the medical sciences: A, B, C of X-ray. Here, we are going to be concerned with a chest X-ray, basically normal chest X-ray. We have to start with. And later on, we will go to the pathologies. Here you can see a chest X-ray, PA view. I think this is nothing new to anybody else in the medical science. And what we see really, the chest X-ray is component we have at the lung fields definitely we have we have the cardiac shadow, the vascular markings, the bony thorax, part of the shoulder girdle here, very small part of upper abdomen, and of course, part of the root neck. Uh, let's go details. And again, in written forms, we can have a switch to the normal components of chest diaphragm includes hemi diaphragms, heart, lung, thoracic cage, part of upper abdomen, lower neck, and the shoulder girdles. The very important three things we have to go through before we enter in a chest X-ray to be interpreted are the three basic things we have to remain in our mind is whether this film is a PA film or AP film, decide to be first, then the proper positioning and the exposure factors and how it is important and why it is important we'll come to know the first thing we have to decide that this film is really pa film or ap film because the pa film we used to encounter in every way but what about AP film and how it is important? Because we know that the PA films are taken in a position patients stand up and most of the patients around are really stands up nicely and walks around in the chambers and almost uh, everywhere in the hospital patients are walking and standing. So PA films are very common for the clinicians to be uh, gone through every day. And this is the uh, thing we have our mind that all the patients, those walks and stands used to have a PA film to be supplied. But what about AP film? We know that the patients those cannot stand up and those have critical illness will not be able to stand up will not be able to be seated enough and we are going to have an ap film so the important is whenever you have got a film exposed in ap position and ap film the shanks are really much, much ill and much, much to be concerned with acute conditions that a patient at that time cannot stand up or don't have the ability to even to be seated. So AP films are far, far important and far, far seeks the doctor's concentration multiple times more than a PA film really. So 
Minawari get a uh, X-ray film exposed, whether it is PA or AP film, we must be decided earlier. Then what is the standard about the PA film? Because PA is very used to, we are very used to um, study uh, X-ray with PA film. Let's go through first the common thing. The patient in this situation faces the film with chest presses over the film, the cassette film. The chin is directed upwards and the shoulders are internally rotated and backwards so that hands placed over the waist back to displace the scapulae from, from the lung hills. And the exposure is taken usually in the standard conditions in full inspiration. And the film focus distance is six feet. This is really a description of a patient, uh, practically a uh, chest take -ray taken in a room in this setup that the patient can be stand in a place to be exposed from the back and the back of the patient is faced towards the extra tube and the chest is pressed over the cassette film. Most of the extras are taken in this way and what about the, uh, this uh, extra we have seen in the first film we have gone through. This is a PA film, standard PA film. And this PA film uh, is displaying the inspiration at the height with the clavicles oblique, the ribs are directed oblique, and the cardiac dimension is uh, near about or less than 50% of the internal thoracic dimension. So this is uh, our PA film here, seen, and, and in the PA film, how we decide the clavicles are at the level of the fourth ribs posteriorly and the dorsal spine is just seen through the cardiac shadow and the ribs are more obliquely placed and the hemidiaphragms are at anterior sixth and posterior tenth ribs. Anterior sixth and posterior tenth ribs, you can go through like this with the anterior answer like this, first rib, second rib, third rib, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So these are the anterior ends of the ribs. You can uh, read from the anterior aspect and also you can go through the posterior aspect as this is the posterior end of the first rib. This is the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, and so on. So um, you can ask that, should I uh, count the position or the situation from the anterior aspects of the ribs or the posterior aspect? What should we go for? About the uh, zone division, you know, the first it the upper zone, mid zone, and lower zones are divided by the lower ribs of the second, fourth, and sixth ribs, you know. But uh, about the hemidiaphragms, I just tell uh, advocate you that you should go from the posterior ends of the ribs because uh, from the lateral view in human, uh, the posterior convexity of the hemidiaphragms, the height of the convexity is really nearer to the posterior half of the thoracic chest cavity rather than the mid or anterior aspect. So it's better you to go through the posterior ends study in cases of study of the hemidiaphragms 
need not to be in the same way as you describe about the lung pathologies uh, when you describe it as uh, the upper, mid, and lower space. So it will be better if you go through the relation of the heavy diaphragms with the posterior ends of the leaves. Then, uh, I have said earlier, and this is a film I think you don't like about because the total scenario is not at all very much known to us. There is the haziness seen around multiple wires are running here and here. You know that uh, really this is not a very clean cut and clear chest radiography. But why we are here? Because you know this is uh, critically ill patients will need multiple wires around their bodies. And what about the, the scenario? the x-ray in this way is taken as the patient is lying on his or her chest and the x-ray usually is taken by the portable radiograph where there is a limitation of the optimization of the uh, exposure factors uh, mostly they are fixed and you cannot uh, change it so much so so you may have such a hazy film here you see you see that this film uh, is uh, describing a patient lying on his back having multiple wires like ecg leads and jvp wires like that so this is a very critically ill patients taken uh, on a line position uh, what we are seeing we are here to describe the AP films. Uh, what about the clavicle? You see the clavicle is seen to be cranially shifted and you see that the ribs are uh, horizontal more in this film rather than the previous film. You see these are obliquely placed and the clavicle is here. But what about this film? The clavicle is cranially shifted and the ribs are more horizontal. And if we very keenly see that the scapulae are seen in the chest cavities as the patient is lying on their, <coughs> on their back. So, from this uh, hazy field, we can come to uh, a PA film study to be read as a clavicles are more cranially shifted. The cardiac shadow is more magnified. That is the dimension is not, in normal individual will be more than 50% because what happens in the AP film, the patient lies on his, on his or her spine, and uh, uh, and we know that the heart is the structure of anterior mediastinum. It's magnified because it is getting more distant from the cassette film here when the patient lies on his or her back. So the cardiac magnification is a normal phenomena. So that even in a normal individual, uh, a uh, magnification of the cardiac dimension takes place and the dimension is uh, more than 50% uh, in uh, AP film. Assalamu alaikum ma'am. Uh, ma'am, ek to apne ke dis. Ma'am, apna microphone ta jodi mukher ekdom kache kache hoye thake ek to dure nilo mona hoy better. Cause ek to noisy sound. Dure nito hobe. Microphone ta mukher ekdom kache kache rakle ek ta hoye breathe ek ta sound disturbance hoy. Ek to dure rakle mona hoy. Ji ma'am. Kache beta ek to kache. Ji ma'am, ekhon ona kine komas se. Ji ma'am. Uh, 
ম্যাম আপনি গরমের মধ্যে কিভাবে ক্লাস নেবেন নো ম্যাম কন্টিনিউ করুন না পড়ুন এখন কি ঠিক আছে বাবা জি ম্যাম এখন সাউন্ড নেই ও ফাইন জি ম্যাম কন্টিনিউ ওকে so dorsal spine is more seen along its length because uh, there is no uh, there is no cardiac shadow here to be disturbed for the visualization of the spine through the cardiac shadow so the dorsal spine is more seen and the ribs are more horizontally placed the scapula are seen placed in the lung fins I think this is, um, if you practice yourself by two or three films that whether it is uh, PA or AP film, you can come to be concluded that it is possible to be identified as a PA film or AP film. Then our next uh, part of uh, studying uh, normal chest X-ray is uh, the proper positioning. Each and every uh, steps of studying an X-ray needs a proper positioning, why it is important. Uh, I should uh, describe those things earlier that what is the outcome of pr proper positioning? What does disturbance happens with, uh, uh, if you don't have a proper positioning of the patient? the rotated portion that means whenever you have got no uh, optimum positioning or the positioning is improper it means that patient is not standing properly at a position of central positioning he or she might be losing one half, any half of the body to be away from the contact with the X-ray uh, X ray film. How it is done, whenever you stand for a PA film, you need to be pressed yourself with the cassette, film containing cassette. So if there is any disparity of the any half of the body, to be pressed over the cassette, that, that is called the rotation of the patient. Or we used to say that the patient is rotated to the left or to the right. What happens with this rotation and how can we come to know that patient has got rotation? how we used to do that the positioning is all right come on practical way this chest x-ray has the dorsal spine is seen through the tracheal shadow here a normal chest x-ray pa film here we used to measure the distance of the medial ends of the clavicle from a line drawn over the spines, dorsal spines in the upper chest, right? So we can make a line over here and make sure that the both clavicular medial ends are equidistant it has got the same distance from the line drawn over the dorsal spine. I think this is very difficult for a patient to be stand in this way and uh, to get such a proper position film is very, I think and this is not very uh, simple. This is a very much calculated study and that is that needs so, so much so technical application from the patient's side and also the technologist's side. And a careful investment of both parties will allow to have such a film without any error. So you may have error that there is uh, some distance, at least some millimeter 
disparity will remain between the distances of the medial clavicular ends on both sides. And what is the thing happens when you have got a rotated film? Has it got any value? Why should I go for that? And why should I need to make you understand? Because this positioning <clears throat> the minimal rotation means minimum disparity of the chest pressure over the film with create a rotation in the chest texture. Proper positioning in determine, determined as central location of the trachea. And the central is really not that much carrying the sense of center. It is just off midline like uh, it is uh, slightly off midline to the right side and the equidistant clavicular ends will declare the patient proper positioning. The mistake will be like a whiter, whiter lung. The part which is internal whenever there is rotation of the patient on any side like patient is rotated to the left, you will get the clavicle to be more distant from the spine on the left side and you will have a slightly blacker film on that half of the lung field and you will get the mediastinum also to be displaced on the way the rotation goes on so that if the patient has got a leftward rotation the left lung field will have a blacker impression than the right one and the mediastinum usually two-third to the left of the midline will be more to the left whenever the patient is rotated it means even though the patient is normal, even though the film is taken with all optimum precaution, this rotation of the patient will produce a mistaken interpretation of the lung fields that this whitish lung maybe have, maybe there is any consolidation we cannot explain. That will be a mistake first for the beginners who are not radiologists. And of course, the mediastinal distortion towards the rotated side that is producing another problem to everybody because we know that there will be no negotiation about the mediastinal placement. The mediastinum must be at its optimum location in a normal individual. If there is any sort of mediastinal displacement, you cannot negotiate it. This is very, very important part of the extra study that you must have your mediastinum in position. It means the cardiac shadow to be one third to the right of the midline and two third to the left of the midline and the other vascular mark vascular markings like the aortic knuckle to be left and the superior vena to be faded under the clavicle right clavicle if there is any distortion of the lung fields um, and in association with the cardiac dimension to be placed to the left uh, is a normal scenario if the patient has got a rotation to each side. Then what would be the another default? You must uh, remember that patient has got a collapse in the right lung, okay, or lung base. And you have got uh, technically fault X-ray 
to be rotated to the left. Mind it, the patient has got a right pulmonary collapse, not seen well in X-ray, and patient has got a leftward rotation. What will, what you need to be interpreted very nicely. You have to be, have to have an interpretation that patient has got a right-sided collapse. So the mediastinum is usually shifted to the right. Okay, but you have got a technically fault X-ray that patient has got a leftward rotation. So the leftward rotation will keep the mediastinum to the left. This is simple. You know that patient is rotated to the left and you will get the mediastinum to be rotated to the left. But if there is any collapse or any lesion that causes the right pulmonary collapse, the patient will have a midline mediastinum even there is a leftward rotation. You must be very critically uh, encountered with this uh, possibility that if there is any mistaken interpretation of the mediastinum will cause a disaster and on both part of the patient and doctor, okay? So you must uh, know very well about the positioning factor of a chest X-ray PA film. You cannot negotiate any sort of mediastinal abnormality. And that is to be very uh, critically understood by the uh, clinician, by the radiologist, okay? What about next? And the finally, we have the factor here, the exposure factor. The exposure factor is how important we have to know before the exposure factor to be decided. Now, what is the optimum X-ray exposure factors we have to know? Because everybody has got his, his or her own weight own uh, category of the body density and the factors are going to be read in the X-ray film. So you must have a gross eye estimation about whatever the exposure factor is here, how does it uh, interact with this very patient during exposure? you made on extra plate. So what is the optimum exposure? The uh, optimum exposure, exposure you have to uh, study by few things like the vertebral bodies and the D spaces are just seen at D8, D9 level through the heart. If these vertebral bodies are not at all seen, you can come to conclude that this X-ray has got a substandard exposure or underexposed film. And if the spine is much more seen than just seen, it will be just seen when the spine is seen much more than usual, you have to conclude that this X-ray has got overexposure. And whatever the lung vascularity is well revealed up to the lateral aspect and the amount of lateral chest wall soft tissues. Well, how it is important, the amount of the soft tissues seen along the neck of the root over the clavicles and some tissues will be seen on lateral chest walls of the lung fields. Uh, this is, uh, I think uh, you have to very, very uh, keenly see that, yes, there is some amount of uh, soft tissues seen outside the thoracic, uh, bones 
the thoracic soft tissues are some to some extent present over the lateral chest wall and over the root of the nose over the clavicles it implies that yes the exposure is at least uh, up to mark up to mark what happens whenever we have the overexposed or underexposed film does it matter or not why should i go through and why should you need to understand it you see <clears throat> i think um, till i have described i have gone through the part of the chest x-ray you uh, some part at least you will be able to explain some uh, defaults also here you see this is an x-ray film this is this x-ray film has got a thoracic dimension with the cardiac shadow to the left of the spine and the chest uh, film has got the vasculature seen at the center and also at the periphery so uh, and this film you know that it is blacker than the usual blacker so this is overexposed film this is under overexposed film this this blacker one and this is an underexposed film underexposed film uh, this is this part has got the underexposed film whiter than the usual so the overexposed film will reveal the miliary and early calcific nodules nicely and the underexposed film reveal the hidden areas of the lungs but miss bone and calcified lesions so this is the um, most of the parts i uh, i hope i tried to cover about uh, what you need to display the uh, x-ray plate how to read a normal chest x-ray these are the things i have said to you presented to you in a simple way uh, later on if you want to continue or not i think today is uh, enough to be uh, load enough you go through to rememorize all those things and later on we will go through other normal things in normal chest radiograph do you have any question i can have answer Okay. Do you have any question? Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. Ma'am, ah, uh, comment section. I can no question. Dek chena. Okay, thank you so let's us uh, uh, and uh, finish the session here today next one we'll uh, talk about inshallah thank you assalamu alaikum ma'am